All right, so right now we're gonna do a guided missile tutorial. All right. All right. So why is this being saved? Why is it not loading? All right. All right. So right now it is a bit laggy. Okay. So number one, we are going to make the missile. Okay, so how do we close this? This is getting annoying. Alright, right, there we go. So in order to make the missile, first you want to um, make a circle or square, whatever you want. And we're going to place it in the middle, and then we're going to curve the edges. One thing with the missile is that it should always be facing right. That if it's not facing right, it most likely will not work properly. So real quick, just do the design of your missile. It doesn't have to be so complicated. Or right? it doesn't have to be like really fancy, unless you are making a, um an actual game. Then it should be looking good. Should I leave your missile the tip and give it the engine like so, or you can just design it any way you want. Put it back like that. Okay, so that's simple enough. Now that we got the missile down and it's facing to our right, we are going to make the launcher. Now, launcher will be a simple pad right here. Oh, we need to set our missile to an appropriate size too. Uh, the other 50 look. Okay, good enough. As long as that one is, once so that is done, we'll paste the rocket onto our turret. And now we should match the size of the current rocket. Good enough. We'll put it right there. Okay. Now we didn't color our turret. Dark green should be fine. Once again, this can be any color you want. Doesn't it doesn't really matter. Okay. Now let's just give it some legs. Like that. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. This time we'll have it face there. Like that. Copy and paste. And there we go. Now we are going to make another costume for when the missile is fired. So basically, we're going to delete the missile. Alright. Then we need our aircraft. For the sake of the video, we'll probably just make the aircraft non-moving. Um, I wonder if I do have an aircraft in my backpack. I probably do not, but... Let's just check. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of... This is just some random stuff here. Um... Mm, nope. Okay, I did not have an aircraft. So, what we're gonna do here is we'll, we'll just make another aircraft. Well, the aircraft doesn't even have to be fancy. It's just gonna be, it's just gonna be a really cheap aircraft.
like that. Um, okay. Okay, so now that we have our little plane, let's give it some color. I really like a mix of dark, um, of light gray and blue, kind of like a sky color. But you know, you do you. So now, hold up, just double checking something. Okay, so now that is done. Our plane is just gonna remain dormant for now. So, in this type of game, you're gonna be the plane. But right now, we we just need to we just need to um make the turret. Your turret should also be facing towards the right. It doesn't matter how you make the turret, just as long as the missile is facing right. Okay. So now, what we're gonna do is once I clicked, we're gonna need it to switch to costume one. Now forever. Now we're also gonna want it to stay in the same position go go to six six forever point towards <clears throat> sprite three which will be our aircraft right, there we go all right means yep it's always going to face it all right next what we need to do is we need to get the missile ready. So basically, when the flag is clicked, we are actually going to want it to hide. The reason why is because when the turret is rotating, as you can see as it's rotated, we can still see the original missile. And right now it's looking a bit funky. When the flag clicked, hide, and then... We'll have it wait three seconds until it fires. Wait three seconds. Then what we're gonna do is um repeat until loop touching the aircraft. Repeat until touching sprite three. In fact, it's always good to name our sprites, that way we know what, it, what we're talking about. Okay, so, um... Let's just call this an F16, F even though it looks nothing like one. And we'll call this S500, even though it looks nothing like an S500, we're just gonna, we're just gonna call it that. And this sprite is going to be the missile. So, P until touching the jet. What we want it to do is point toward. All right. So this is a, this is sometimes a bit weird. Like sometimes when it points towards the object, it doesn't want to repeat that script for for whatever reason. I've countered glitches with that, so I wouldn't be surprised if this has some bugs. Okay. So now, shall we point towards F16 and we'll have a move for three steps. Okay, well, let, let's see if it works. Okay, so so far it stops when it touches the... Oh, also we actually need the explosion. So what we're going to do here is give this some um, bends right here in the circle. Okay, now our explosion should be orange. Alright, it still got some blue in it, so we need to fix that. You're always free to add your own sound effects too, if you need to. Okay. So now, when, um, when the flag is clicked, we want it to switch to the first costume right here 
Okay. Now, um, now forever, check if it's touching F16, and if it is, switch towards, I'm sorry, not switch towards, switch to costume 2, like that. Now, we're going to do the same thing for the jet, except... We're, we're just going to have it hide since we already got the explosion. Nope. <laughs> that did not want to do what I wanted it to do, but that's okay. If I, when flagged clicked, forever if touching missile. Right, missile. Oh, we're also going to want this to go to the front layer. So that way when the jet is flying around, it doesn't look like it's flying under the turret, it's going to fly over the turret. So forever go to front layer, if touching missile, then search costume. Like that. Oh no, not search costume, sorry. We need it to hide. And when the, f and when the game starts, we want it to show. Oh, another thing is we also needed to go to the, go to the, um, our little turret. Where is it? Oh, okay. One flight clicked. Go to S500 and, and so that it can... And if its position gets messed up once it starts the missile script, so it can go back to the missile launcher. Like that. Show. Okay, let's see. Is it going to work? Is it not going to work? Mm, let's see. Alright, let's see. Is it going to work? Is it not going to work? Okay, let's see. We got a small bug. Okay, so repeat until touching. Let's see. Okay, I see. I see the problem. I see the problem. There we go. We needed that. We needed that piece of block not in the repeat loop. There we go. And yeah. If touching. EF16 it should it needs to switch to cost it needs to switch to the costume. And the way I won't do it since it is touching. Um okay. Well Okay, as that starts, we are going to one flight clicked. For we'll forever we'll have to remove one step. We're not gonna add any actual controls to it, we're just gonna test this. Okay, it's flying a little slow. Oh yeah, and the missile follows it. To those who didn't see, we'll, we'll, make, we'll make it move a little faster. Oh look, and it's always pointing towards the aircraft too, which is pretty cool. And so... Oh, and so the jet starts off at the same place, we'll want it to... We'll want it to go back to its position. Like that. And as you can see, the turret is even moving towards it. And yep, yep, there we go. Let's see. Now, okay. I have, I have a plan. Since the J is the first thing to react when it touches the missile, what we're going to do is when... I receive message 1, it's going to switch to costume 2. Let's just hope that works. Perfect, now we just need to get stop moving, so we'll stop the game when that happens. Because, well, when you die, that's it. Oops. Mm, yeah. Okay, now we can actually, let's try, um, 
let's try moving our airplane. So when arrows clicked, uh, let's do when up arrow clicked and when down arrow clicked. You guys, you guys can use left and right. I'm just gonna use this. When the bell I click, when up arrows click, when down arrows click. Well, okay, let's see if this makes sense. Okay. Right, like that, like that. Boom. And yeah, that, that is pretty cool, in my opinion. And yeah, oh yeah, we also need a background. The, back, the background can be your choice. But we'll, we'll just do this for now. There we go, and we can also add a little island for the for the gun, which it will stay on. And that is that's it. This is a little cheap island. That's really simple. We got a fully functioning rotating turret, and perhaps if I find out how we can do an entire craft gun but for now missile launcher is pretty cool and yeah that's just really simple um that's all i gotta show you guys so i guess that's it thanks for watching